on sale since late last year, the Chevrolet Bolt EV has been undergoing a slow but steady rollout across key markets in the US and Canada. And at the same time, its European twin, the Opel Ampera E, has been rolling out in a very few European markets. I say rolling, but in the case of Europe, it's more of a slow meander, with less than 1,000 cars reaching their owners between the start of sales in April and the end of June. Anyway, with an EPA-approved range of 238 miles, 383 kilometers, and an easily achievable real-world range in excess of 280 miles, 450 Ks, the Bolt EV, Ampera E, offers a long-range alternative to the far more expensive Tesla Model S and Model X, and becomes a competitor to the Tesla Model 3. And in Europe, is also a longer-range alternative to the 41 kilowatt-hour Renault Zoe ZE. But it's not all plain sailing. At the tail end of last week, Chevrolet quietly announced that it's notifying owners of early 2017 Chevrolet Bolt EVs in order to fix a battery manufacturing problem that could cause affected cars to unexpectedly run out of charge at the side of the road, leaving you stranded. But what are the symptoms of affected cars? What's the cause of the fault? And what does the solution look like? Well, according to plug-in cars Brad Berman, whose own personal leased Chevrolet Bolt Premier was affected by the issue at hand earlier this month, affected cars appear to have plenty of range left, but then suddenly shudder to a halt with single-digit range on the dash. In Berman's case, his car required a tow to a local dealer after he safely coasted the car in neutral to the side of the road. But the cause, in GM's own words, is a battery low voltage condition which can cause the car to incorrectly report remaining range at low states of charge and lose propulsion before the customer expects. Or, in other words, a system error that leads the car to believe it has more charge left in the battery pack than it really does, which, in turn, leads the car to erroneously report range and suddenly causes it to run out of power before the onboard system says it should. This means that while there's still charge left in the battery pack, the car will operate normally, although it will give incorrect range information. But without any way to tell where the actual bottom of the pack lies, there's an element of Russian roulette if you're driving longer distance trips in your Bolt EV without topping up. With 288 individual battery modules on board, you'd be forgiven for thinking that it would be something of a headache for GM to correctly identify cars with a faulty module, especially given the 10,000 or so now on the roads of North America. Like Tesla, though, GM remotely keeps an eye on all of its cars through a telematic system and says that it's identified affected Bolt EVs via its OnStar system. So far, GM says that less than 1% of Bolt EVs have shown signs of the problem, and early production vehicles are more likely to have a problem than vehicles which rolled off the production line more recently. GM is keen to point out that this is not an official recall, it's a service matter instead, whatever that means, and owners of affected cars are being contacted directly by their local dealer to arrange a service appointment where their car's battery packs will be replaced free of charge under warranty. With GM's continuing battery monitoring of Bolt EV packs, I'm assuming any other vehicles which show signs of the fault will of course be added to the list of cars needing a battery pack replacement. At this point, it's worth remembering that every new car does have some teething problems when it first hits the road. The Nissan Leaf had its teething problems, the Tesla Model S and Model X both had their teething problems too, and so of course has the Chevrolet Bolt EV. In this case, the problem does appear to be the fault of LG Chem, GM's largest technology partner on the Chevrolet Bolt EV. And with a fix identified and GM already working to remedy the problem in affected cars, this particular issue doesn't appear to be large enough yet to warrant crossing the Bolt EV off your new car shopping list. But it's also worth remembering that just like any newly launched car, buying any new electric car early on in its production cycle does increase the risk that your vehicle will be a one to suffer early production teething problems. If that thought frustrates you, it's probably best to wait a year or so before buying, regardless of the make or model of vehicle, as it gives the automaker time to tweak production techniques and parts to deal with problems that were unforeseen during pre-production testing. That's it. As always, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, hit that notification bell and click the Patreon link at the end of this video if you want to help me make more of these videos. Until next time, keep evolving!